Okay, let's see what we all think. So this one's gonna be a little bit sensitive to a lot of people, but we all have opinions and none of us are right or wrong. It just is. Damo Wilson was in a relationship when she had her first baby. Things didn't work out, she became a single mother. And now as a single mother, she's planning on having another child. There will be no father involved and there will be no second parent in general involved. What do you think about that? Okay, I understand this might be a little bit touchy for some people and that's okay because we're all gonna be here and be respectful in the comments below but you're more than welcome to state your opinion, um, put some facts in there if you can in this type of subject, and debate. That's what this channel is for, okay? So let's go ahead and watch this video by Dama Wilson. This video is called, It's Time. A whole bunch of exclamation marks. Hashtag baby number two. Okay, she's going for it, you guys. We all know this, she's been talking about it for a long time. She's always wanted to be a mother and she wants to have a lot of kids, so this is baby number two. She is doing the insemination. I don't know exactly which procedure she's doing, but we're gonna find out. So let's go ahead and watch. A lot of people think when she does that intro that she swears in front of her son. She doesn't, you guys. She just does beep, and then she just puts a little um, sound effect. Beep. She don't swear in front of her son. She's a good mother. Okay, Damo, let's not pretend that you're okay with that because I'm pretty sure you're not. You still want that support. I understand everyone was busy, but it kind of sucks going to a doctor's appointment by yourself, going through this process. It's kind of lonely. I'm excited though, so like I said, I'm gonna try my hardest to record as much as I can solo because I will be under the machine getting tested and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. But also, I want to say in this video that my baby is about to be three years old on March 14th. If you guys know me, you know I go Ooh, baby Damo's a Pisces just like me. I'm a Pisces March 11th, okay? On my first birthday. Anything, any accomplishment he has. When he started walking, talking, every month of his life. Like, I'm just so excited and I'm so blessed and I'm just so, like, overwhelmed that he's about to be three. I just booked all his stuff for his birthday party, which I'm usually six months ahead of time, but this time I'm not six months ahead of time, so I feel really good that I have it. By the way, I know this is off topic and everything, but that's okay. That's what you're here for. You're here to talk to me and see me too, right? Not just not just Damo. Okay, thank you. 7-Eleven has this iced coffee, and I decided to give it a shot. And let me tell you, this French vanilla is actually pretty tasty. And I saved money going there too because Mickey D's uh, vanilla iced coffee is getting pretty pricey now. It's like two something. This was like a dollar. It's all planned it's out. There's been so much going on, but I'm just so happy. I know I'll probably look sleepy crazy right now, but I feel good, okay? My I know you do. My is three minutes away, so he's going to be here soon. Now it says two minutes away, okay. But anyways, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, guys. I love you guys so much. And if you're excited for baby number two, what it do, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you just uh, send me some positivity. Send me what do you guys think my opinion is on this? Comment below right now and let me know what you think my opinion is. I'm not gonna say it yet. It's a positive girl, your girl, your girl about to be pregnant. I have on the cutest outfit I'm gonna show y'all. It's like a little onesie thing. So, Cute, so comfy. Cool. So sit back, relax, get your snack, and enjoy this video! Bye.
Got my snack, but I'm not gonna eat during this video. Hello. Hi. Alright guys, so I literally just got out of my lip. It is so beautiful in LA. Look at this. It is so freaking pretty. The air even feels so crisp uh -uh. out here. Everything just feels mm -hmm. good. So nope. this is supposed to be a very good day. Nope, I can't do city. I can't do the city vibes. I used to go to the city in Chicago, right? All the time when I was younger, in my early 20s. But I went there to party. I went for the nightlife. I just can't do the city stuff. Like, when I go travel, I don't do the city stuff. I don't, it's just, it's just a bunch of stores. <laughs> a bunch of, like, shops. People just walking around. Uh, cars driving crazy because they're in a hurry. That ain't my vibe. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's go. Hi, guys. So, now I have to have a Regardless of what people think, I am happy for her. I believe most women have that maternal instinct of becoming a mother, regardless of the situation. So I am very happy for her. Damn, girl, how much water are you gonna drink? You're gonna make me wanna go pee. Every cup just get nastier and nastier. This is probably the worst part. It's getting the news stuck in my arm, but it's worth it. That feeling right there. Okay. Those new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel and that don't know what happened in the past, my wife and I tried to conceive. I was trying to get pregnant. Uh, we tried six times, six IUI procedures, and they were all unsuccessful. This right here, you, you guys don't understand. I, I was annoyed with my body. I felt like my body was being kind of like mistreated because of the so many times I had to go to the clinic so many shots I had to take, so many appointments where they had to like check you, get your ovaries, you know, vaginally and all that stuff. And it's like, you get, I'm not gonna speak for everyone that's gone through it, but for me, it's like, I just got tired of things getting like just pushed inside my vagina and getting shots on my arm all the fucking time. I just felt like so frustrated and annoyed by my body. It's like, go ahead, take, do the injection. Go ahead, let me open up my legs, push it in. It was just like, you see how happy she is? That's how I was the first three times. <laughs> the first three attempts, that's how happy I was. The last three, I just got sick and tired of going through the same process over and over and getting a negative result. And I was just very upset with everything. Wish us luck. Hello? Yeah, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You ready? No. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I can't breathe. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. No, wait. No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh my god, you had my heart beating. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was so Okay, hold on. Hi, Carol. Hi, Priscilla. It's Kelly. I'm calling from Dr. Nanny's office. I wish I had better news. Oh my god. Go, but I'm sorry to tell you that I do have to access to me. The CG, which is a pregnancy level, came in less than one. Please stop your progesterone support and call with your period, Carol. The CG would like to increase the general half or Holliston to 150. We're going to go up higher. And we're going to start to do an antagonist called the anaerobic acetate that's going to suppress you so we can grow from a little larger and more so we can get you pregnant uh, you need more follicles here to, to get pregnant so if you have any questions let me know otherwise i will submit the authorization to get the call with your period okay i'm sorry have a good day bye bye can we play this message hello 
Yeah. You okay? Well, there you go. Huh? Babe? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a kid. I don't ever look at him because I'm like, oh, I want to be surprised. <laughs> Are you scared of him? Uh, only if I see him. I was, I was never scared of needles. I would just be like, push it in. But after getting shots all the time, it was like, for some reason, like I, it felt more painful. That was the wrong outfit to wear, girl. When you know you gotta go in and out. Hi guys, so the doctor is here. He just told me, would you just say one is good? Yes, so one. one is good, two is excellent, and you have 2.71. This is your I have 2.71. So What's that? Of what? That's for my eggs, right? That's for your eggs. Oh, okay. Y'all yes. hear that? I got some, AMH. I, AMH. I got some good swimming eggs. It's not technically <laughs> swimming, it's not sperm, but That's you know true. I have very, very, very solid eggs. By the way, for those who are wondering, my eggs were perfectly fine. The sperm was perfectly fine. It just wasn't happening for me. It could have been different things. Uh, it could have been my weight because I am underweight. I, I am 105 pounds. I am 5'4", so that's considered underweight. Can't help it. My whole life, by the age of 34, the highest I've ever been was 110. It's in my, it's in my genes. It's my metabolism. I, I don't know what else to say about that. I think stress was the factor of all these negative results. I have anxiety, so that doesn't help me. My mind just keeps going and going. I'm worried all the time. I'm like wondering, I'm like, is this gonna be it? Is this not gonna be it? Is this gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? It fucks with you. And when, you're st when your body's under stress, it makes it hard to conceive. And especially at my age. We tried having a baby when I was 30, so I believe Damo is 24 or 25 years old. She tried insemination once, it didn't work out. And then the second time when she was with Chrissy, it worked out. And now this is her third attempt. So let's hope that this happens for her. Solid eggs. So I'm excited about that one. Hi guys! So my appointment is over. It was so good. Like I love the staff there. I cannot say this enough. I love them. So let me give you guys like a backstory of what happened when my lift is on its way. I got seven minutes to talk. So you know I'm gonna talk the whole seven minutes because your girl talked too much. But no, for real. I just had the HSG test, which went awesome. I did not report that because it was a little invasive. Like I also had a pap smear, so I was like, I don't wanna like mm -hmm. do that. Y'all know if you don't know what pap smear is, women have to get it like I believe every year. And then this HSG test they every three years. Put uh, water into my uh uh, my and that's actually painful. You can actually feel the pressure when that water goes in. It's uncomfortable. My tubes, and 
and pretty much my tubes are open. Everything looks perfect. Everything looks great. So my other doctor's appointment is set already. I'm not going to tell you guys dates because I kind of want you guys to be surprised about everything. I'm not going to say too much about like my timeline, but just know that your girl is going to get inseminated very soon. And I'm so excited. Like I told you when the doctor was there because I wasn't really recording too much because I wanted to really focus on what he was saying. And I'm like, okay, I'm pap smear. I do not like pap smears. They hurt me. They got to yeah. put the little thing in there and it goes like this. They hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually it went really well. They were really patient and really gentle. So one of the best past smears I had because like I wasn't in agonizing pain. <laughs> so my levels for my eggs are so good. Like I feel really good about that because last time I I hate that too, girl. Okay, motorcycle. I okay. hate that too. Last time I was here, I got blood tested. You guys remember, um, that test was for my eggs. A one is good, a two is excellent, and I got a two point seven. Bam. Which is close to three. You know, my eggs in there are like, mommy, I'm waiting. You know, you know? you love me when you can, when you're ready. And I'm like, I'm getting there. Don't worry, I'm getting there. So I'm just so blessed to be able to just do this. I just was made to be a mother, and I could, if I could have ten children, I would. God, don't give me quadruplets, please. Thanks. I'm talking around the future. What I'm worried about is that Chr uh, Chrissy, I believe she's too excited. I don't think she has it in her mind that it could not happen this uh, on this attempt. And the reason why I say this is because I've always wanted to have a baby when I was nine, since I was 19. Never did it ever cross my mind that it's a possibility that I might not get pregnant. And the reason why that never crossed my mind is because all my sisters had many kids. I have 13 nieces and nephews, okay? But then <laughs> they had their babies when they were young. So at 30, I just wasn't thinking. I just thought if I don't get pregnant the first time, I'll get pregnant the second time. But then the third one came, the fourth, the fifth, and then the sixth. Like, damn, I never thought that it would come to this point to the point where I just gave up and I just stopped. Words of advice, Demo. Be excited, be positive always. Don't be stressed. At the same time, also understand that the opposite can happen and just be prepared just in case it does so that you don't be so disappointed if it, does, if it doesn't happen. Just, that's just words of advice coming from my experience. <laughs> I just love being a mother and I know I'm going to be an even greater mother to a new baby. So guys, send me your well wishes, your prayers, your baby dust, whatever. And it's about to be very exciting. I will be vlogging my entire process. Today I didn't vlog because I had a pap smear, but like I didn't want you guys to see all that. But my next appointment is the next appointment, yes. Also, I really appreciate a lot of you guys reaching out, asking me, Yo, Demo, how's this process done? Like, how did you do this? Do this, do this. Like, I'm curious. Me and my wife want to have a baby. Or me and my husband want to have a baby. Or I just want to have a baby by myself. So many questions. I'm going to answer that for you guys in a whole nother video. Like, it's so crazy how many people, like, want to know about the process and just don't know about it. So, I feel really good that I'm out there and I can help people. That my videos, people actually want to know more about. Some people didn't even know this existed. And they're like, yo, Demo, like, for real, but like, how? So, I'm going to make a whole separate video about that. But good luck to anybody out there having a baby. I hope the baby's I hope you get pregnant. I just hope that everything good comes from whatever you want. Babies are blessings. So. For sure. But yeah, there's so much that goes into it, and I have all the information on the prices and all that. So I wish I had videos like this when I was trying to have Dominic the first time. Because if you guys do not know, I have a son, Dominic. He's about to be three years old. March 14th. <laughs> and I had an IUI with him, which is the same procedure I'm doing to have baby number two. Okay. And I didn't have much information, you know? Like, I would look online, you know, YouTube, everything. But, like, nobody was really in depth for me. And I want to be that person for other people out there who's going through the process. Whether you're a couple, whether you're by yourself. So, yeah, like I That was tough. Not knowing anybody that's gone through the process was tough for me, too. So... I was doing everything on my own, well obviously with my wife, but this was, we were the only ones that were getting inseminated. We never knew anyone else that did this. So it was pretty difficult because we had no one to ask certain questions. We were curious about a lot of things and why these tests were being done and then what these numbers mean. Like we can, we can always ask our doctor and our nurses, but at the same time it's like, I wish I had someone to call, you know what I mean? I said, baby dust, baby wishes to everybody. I hope you get pregnant. Manifest it, okay? Manifest what you want in life and it will happen. Speak it into existence. You have what you speak. I will get pregnant this first time. I, it will work the first time. And yeah, so that's the best advice that I can give to anybody is manifestation. You have what you say. My grandma taught me that. You have what you say. I'm like, grandma, I'm stupid. She'd be like, 
you have what you say. Don't don't say that. Like when I would grow up and be school, when I grew up and be in school, and I was not good at school. Like I don't know, my girl taught me a lot. But if you guys have not watched my last video, go watch it. I love you guys so much, and I hope that you guys have an excellent 2020. This is a good way to start the 2020. I'm so excited. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see down below. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a marvelous, marvelous day. Right. You too, girl. We wish the same for you too. Okay, so what do I think? Do I think it's okay for Damo to get pregnant as a single parent? Let's start off with this. Is it okay for her not to be in a relationship and try to conceive without a partner? I think it is perfectly fine. I think when you have the time and the energy, which she does have the time, the, the type of career that she has, she can work from home, so she'll always be there for her child. So yes, I think she's fine with trying to have a baby on her own. I think it's, that's okay. And she's not gonna be lonely forever, you guys. She will be in a relationship eventually, and I'm pretty sure she'll be careful with who she gets with because this person is also gonna be around her children. I'm pretty sure she's gonna see what type of morals and values this person has um, when it comes to parenting, so. I think it's fine. I see nothing wrong with it. Go ahead, girl. Try to have them baby kids. How do I feel about her having children and not having a father figure around her kids? Not having a man, a boyfriend, a husband, a dad for those kids. I think it's okay, okay? I know a lot of people say that kids that don't have their father around tend to have it hard in life. They tend to seek attention in different negative ways. Which I do agree with. That's when it comes to a single parent household in general. That's just, it's kind of difficult because they're at work most of the time, so they don't get to have that attention that they need. But in this case, Demo works on the internet, so she'll be fine with the attention. I don't think you need a father necessarily to have a successful life. But I do believe that you need to have a male figure around and she has a brother okay she has a brother that she's really close to and he is perfectly fine to be that male figure for those kids so she's gonna be fine you guys it's all right it's her life she'll be okay she's a great mother to baby dominic so she'll be a great mother to the next child and then the next child and however many children she wants 10 kids that's, that's what she said so leave her alone that's her life if you ain't raising them kids if you're not financially supporting them kids if you're not there during their their heartbreaks during their tough times during their milestones then shut the fuck up because <laughs> your opinion and your thoughts it really does not matter to her don't forget to comment below let me know what you think about her having a baby as a single parent don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload see you in the next video peace